All right, just say it, though. What does it matter? I don't know, just say it the once. I'm not gonna say it ever. Look, nobody's around. Nobody's gonna hear you. Look, completely off the record, just say it. I'm really impressed. That. That you found such an amazing apartment. Not so hard, right? <laughs> I am excited for you to see it, though. It, uh, it's in this really nice building, right? And uh, this is supposed to be a real up-and-coming neighborhood, so. Right, and there's pictures, windows, and a charming two-season porch, right? That, that is right. I know, Amir, because you won't stop talking about it. You uh, forgot about the vintage appeal. <laughs> so what do you think, Anne? Uh, Pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Here, put, put those down, and let me give you the grand tour. Uh, first, why don't you step out of the foyer? This is the foyer right here, and just we'll step out of there. And lead you into the living room. Uh, you can look out to see that we've got a two-season porch out of our remarkable window view. Uh, also, you should note that you are walking on, that's right, hardwood floors. But the best part is the bedroom. So let me take you this way. I'll lead you over here. Look at this. Oh, huh. this is the bedroom. That's right. Oh, okay. Um, you said this was a one bedroom apartment, Amir. This is totally a studio. Well, it fits one bed, so. That's it, right there. That's it? You only bought a quart? It's like the leftovers from the store, so it's way cheaper to buy those. <laughs> okay, well, this isn't gonna be enough to cover our whole apartment. You gotta go buy more. Look, you, no, you, no, no. You gotta spread that out, and you gotta really spread the paint. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how dry paint works. You just have to go to the store and get some more. Yeah. No, I'm not going back. The guy's gonna remember me if I go back there. Amir, my parents are coming over tomorrow. We have to finish painting the apartment. Can't we do it later? Later when? Don't you work tomorrow? Uh, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, well, I don't want my parents to come over tomorrow and see our place looking like this. It looks like a halfway house. Well, that's what I'm telling you, to just, you take the brush and you spread the paint. <sighs> Get a comb. What is that? What? That. Oh, it's a cigarette? Yeah, I know it's a cigarette, but what are you doing smoking it? Uh, I bought a pack yesterday. I want to try it out, so. <laughs> no, 
you're not gonna start smoking. Why not? Oh, I don't know, Amir, because it's disgusting and it causes cancer and it'll make your teeth yellow. Gross. Uh, yeah, those are all valid points, but um, <clears throat> it is known to be really good for stress, so. <laughs> stress? Yeah. Yeah, because you're so stressed out. Come on, what do you have to be stressed about? You're 23 years old and you're an escalator tenant. Leave with that out. Exactly, and I'm already 23 years old, and the best years of my life are really flying by. So you know what? Smoking is good. Uh, Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. My name is Tom. I'm your neighbor. Oh, okay. I'm Anne. Hi, Anne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, welcome to the building. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Are you cutting something? Yeah, uh, hair. Uh, hair? Okay. <laughs> do you want a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, are you implying something? No, it okay. looks good. It's, um... Um, yeah, I just wanted to just welcome you to the new building and say hello if there's anything you need. I'm in 16. Okay, thank you. That's, yeah. that's really neighborly of you. Well, I try. <laughs> How's the packing going? Um, good. Except for the unpacking. The unpacking. Yeah. That's a price. Yes. That's an inevitable price you pay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll leave you to it. I just wanted to say hello. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Don't be a stranger. All right. I'll okay. talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. If, uh, if I don't know, if you're really exhausted, as I'm sure you are, and hungry, um, most of the restaurants have already closed in the neighborhood. I don't know if you're if you're interested, but I can whip you up something really quickly. Oh no, that's. <laughs> it's not that's, a big deal. No, it is a big deal. It's not. I'm gonna be cooking anyway. <laughs> You don't have to do that. I know, but I'd like to. Um, Are you a vegetarian? Mm -mm. Even easier. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we'll probably like uh, 30 minutes. Sounds great. Awesome. All right, thank Fantastic. you. You're welcome. Thanks. I'll see you in a sec. Okay. What are you doing? Shh. Do you hear this? Yeah, what is that? That, I believe, is some really loud neighbors. Who walks around like this? I don't know, that is really annoying. Yeah. Um, so that was actually our uh, next door neighbor. He just came by to introduce himself. Yeah? Is he as loud as these guys? No, um, he was really nice, actually. He offered to make us dinner. <laughs> How'd you get out of that one? Um, <laughs> I didn't. Actually, he's gonna be over in like 30 minutes. Hey! Hi! How's it going? <laughs> Good. Oh, it's oh, hey. great. This is my boyfriend. Oh, hi. I'm hi, here. Good to meet you. Tom, hi. I live next door. I didn't know there was going to be three of us. I would have made one more. I, I, I can't believe it slipped my mind. That's okay. <laughs> Do you have, have you uh, unpacked your plates yet? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to grab an extra plate and then yeah, I'll, sure. I'll, I'll yeah. just give you half of mine? Yeah, so I would have made more if I knew there were three. I'm sorry. I, know. I'm, I, I can't believe it. I'm moving, I you're, guess. You're, you're in flux. <laughs> you're flustered. Is fish okay? Fish is clean. Cool. Good. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So how are you settling in? Um, good. Yeah, in the past few hours, this place has really come along. Is it feeling like a home yet? Um, Sort no. of. <laughs> it will. Well, the place looks really nice. You guys, even in the last few hours, you've settled in. It's nice. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, Tom was telling me that you're, you're an anthropology professor. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, I'm a lecturer, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's wow. Is that like some dinosaurs and... Oh, that you're thinking of archaeology. Yeah. Or uh, evolutionary biology. I'm sure, they get mixed up. No. But, but, it, but it is a dying field, and it will, go, oh, yes. it will go the way of the dinosaur. I think teaching is, like, the most important job. It's fun. It's, it's sometimes fun. <laughs> it's never fun. But <laughs> there are enough other rewards, I guess, that I guess I keep doing it. The money, you know. I work on, I, I'm a writer, so I work on my okay. own stuff. Do you keep a, is it like a journal that you keep? Uh, I mean, no, it's more, it's just sort of non-fiction. So it's a sort of a sociology, I guess would be the category. It's about flash mobs. It's about the socio-cultural underpinnings of conformity. Oh, sure. And how technology is feeding these sort of flash mobs that are happening. Sure. Oh. I bet like five people are going to read this book. But. Yeah, I've been, uh, that makes me think I've actually been reading a book. You know what, actually, I, I just remembered, I have this really nice German wine. Mm. that I wanted a trivia contest last week. Should I, you want to bring it over? It'll go well with the fish. 
I don't want to like use your special wine or anything. It's not that special. I wanted to attribute the contest. It's a German Riesling. <laughs> it's actually Riesling. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Are you interested? Amir, do you yeah, want some as well? Me. I don't. Do you maybe have something like a Diet Coke or uh, any soda? I don't like? have any soda. No. I might have. I'll, let me see what I can find out. Don't worry about it if you don't have it. There's like a, a corner, juice. There's a corner store down there too. If you want to run down. No, no. It's it's I'm literally good. like I can only see it from here. No, I'm good. I'll stay put. Okay, I'll be right back. Nice guy, huh? Oh, it's kind of awkward, actually. How? Oh, it's kind of weird. He just like, he just like, you brought over food. He just like made dinner all of a sudden and just brought over food for us. We just met him. Yeah, it's really nice. I think he's kind of weird if he's doing that. That's a little too nice. Oh, come on. That's like, that's what neighbors are supposed to do. He's being neighborly. I don't know. It seems a little bit too nice. So, I don't have a Diet Coke, but I do have roasted coconut juice. What do you juice. got there? Coconut juice. Oh, Superior coconut quality juice. coconut juice. Mm-hmm. But, no, it's great. So two confessions about the wine. One is that it's open. I started it yesterday. Um, that's how I can vouch for its quality. Another thing is I don't have wine glasses. So do, you have, do you guys have glasses, glasses here? glasses, yes. Okay, you awesome. Do. I'll be right back. Thank you. Is this asparagus? Mm-hmm. You like asparagus? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I do. It's really good for you. Cleans out your bladder, gets all the toxins out. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, to your yeah. new place, best of luck. Here, let me crack oh, this. Yeah. yeah. Cheers to the coconut oh. juice. Yeah. What do you think? It's really, it's really good. good, actually. Yeah. Do you want to try it? No. <laughs> this wine is great. I mean, I'm not like a wine aficionado. But... Mm-hmm. I don't think you have to be to appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Although it helps. Me and my buddy, actually, we go to this wine tasting class every other week. Oh, really? Yeah, because I've never done it before. It's kind of stupid, but it's also fun, too. I mean, we get kind of wasted, which you're not supposed to do during the wine class, <laughs> and make a fool of yourself. But uh, we learn a little bit about the wine. You should come down. It's really oh my fun. God, I'd yeah. Love to. Yeah. 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 Do that. Well, Let's maybe do that. That'd actually, that'd be something that I could do with Samantha, my girlfriend. We're totally. You know, we've been talking about taking more classes. Like we could do it when you are playing basketball, or I mean. Well, I know I play in the day, and that sounds like something at night. So some of the classes are in the day too, though. So I mean, what sort of stuff do you no, do? It's interesting you should ask because I'm actually. In the arts, Tom. Cool. Yeah, I, um, I'm a sculptor. Oh, you're a sculptor? Yeah. Nice. Have you unpacked any of your stuff? Is, is there anything here that I could take a look at? Well, I, I don't actually, you know, I don't have anything right now to show. Be- I haven't actually sculpted anything yet. You mean ever? Or what do you mean? Yeah, no, I haven't sculpted anything yet, so. So you're like a, th- a theoretical sculptor. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, right? no, I'm yeah. a sculptor. <laughs> I'm a sculptor. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've got like, sketches and... What, uh, what is the first project you want to do? Um, it's going to be a bust of Charles Barkley's head. <laughs> okay, I thought you were kidding for a second. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were joking around. No. Really? Charles Barkley? Why Charles Barkley? He's got a very distinctive face. I think it's going to work really well in 3D. Interesting. I guess I've never seen him in 3D. Have you seen him in 3D? No. Well, like, I've seen him on like, TV and... Right. That's, that's usually called 2D. God, isn't it so crazy what Tom was saying tonight about Defer? I can't even wrap my head around some of those statistics. Yeah, it's horrible. <sighs> yeah, the news is so depressing sometimes I can't even read it. Oh, no. Ugh. Uh, you smell like a junior high. Oh, that's my new body spray. <laughs> Did you have fun tonight? Oh, yes, I had so much fun. Good. Yeah. Do you like Tom? Tom is great. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> he is nice. Yeah, and that food was delicious. Uh, I do wish that he brought a little bit more over. Tom went a little skimpy on the portions tonight. Yeah, I kind of think he didn't know you were going to be there. That's weird. Did you fail to uh, mention that you had a a boyfriend that you lived with? Well, yeah, I talked to him for like two minutes, so 
in that two minute conversation I might have forgotten. Oh, well, you, you might have forgotten. Oops, oh I forgot. God, I've got a boyfriend. Jealous. You're yeah. so jealous. <laughs> All right, I'm yeah. sorry. Oops, what roommate boyfriend? Oh my god, you were so jealous. <laughs> not, honestly, I'm not jealous. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Let me uh, get this for you. Whoa, 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 you wait. What? Hang on, hang on. I what? Can't, I can't do this. Why not? Because they can probably hear us. These walls are like paper thin. Who cares? I care, Amir. I don't want strangers hearing me have sex. No, no one's gonna hear you. You don't really make that much noise anyways. Oh, thanks. Oh, and we haven't had sex since we moved in here. Amir, we moved in here today. Exactly. It's wearing on me. <sighs> Hey Spencer, it's Amir. Uh, not so good actually. I actually just woke up with a really bad migraine headache, so I don't know if I'm gonna make it in today. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, um, I'll just talk to you next time I'm in. Okay, bye-bye. You have a migraine? Uh, no, no I don't, but uh, I figure if I tell Spencer that, then I don't have to go into work, so. Amir, you've got to stop doing that. What? Calling in sick all the time. What do you mean stop it? This is the first time I have this week. <laughs> this week. You call in sick more than anyone I know. Look, I figure if we've got the day off, then we can spend it together, so. Okay. Do you want to spend the day painting the apartment? Are you serious? Finish painting the apartment? Mm-hmm. Let me call Spencer back and tell him I'm feeling all right, actually. I want to go outside. Look outside. It's 70 and sunny. It's beautiful out there. Let's get out of this apartment. That could be nice. It actually will be. I'll make sure of it, so. Can you, can you pass it to me and then like, yeah. pass the ball in so it's more realistic, like it's a game setting? And he drives and he gets... Oh. Thanks, Bob. Nothing's falling today, man. Okay, I'm, Amir, today. I'm gonna go. What do you mean? I mean, I'm gonna go. Give me 10 bubbles. What do you mean? I'm just, I'm gonna go to the library and study. What do you mean we're enjoying the day outside the park? <laughs> this is, this is not what I had in mind when you said we'll spend the day at the park. Well, it's not exactly how I pictured it either, but it's pretty great. I told Peter to take my ring to go get it, you know, resign. I'm trying to show him all of these pictures of bridesmaids' dresses and colors of the flowers and colors of everything. And I'm trying to tell him that it's his decision too. It's not just me. I know it's stereotypically the woman that's taking care of everything, but I can't handle him right now because it's his memory. It's his wedding. It's his memory. He's going to have to remember it for the rest of his life. Even if we get a divorce, he's going to have to remember the way our wedding looked. Isn't it that you have a year? I wouldn't stress out about it. Yeah, but a year is really not that long. It takes months and months and months to order some of these things. Especially if you want it right. I don't know, I guess it could be a lot worse than it is. I guess I would probably kill myself if I had to deal with a mirror in the midst of all this. <laughs> he's so out there. Hmm. But yes, you know, he's a good artistic guy. He's got a good... Thing going and he does. He's, he, he does have a good eye. He's he's really artistic and creative. Mm -hmm. Is he helping you at all with the movement? Is he being good? Yeah, I mean, it's his place too. <laughs> so, of course. I mean, he found the place. Did you, do you like it? Do you... It's cute. It's um, smaller than I expected, but it's like dark hardwood, which I love, and red brick on the outside. I mean, it reminds me of the house I grew up in, you know, which is cool, except for an apartment building. Um, the neighborhood's really 
I don't know. Bohemian, artsy. So it's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Not like it matters. I mean, I'm sure my mom's probably going to send over a maid or something. That's good. Then you should have her do that. That'd be nice. No, it's, it'll be fine. It's They'll probably freak out a little bit, but I mean, they'd freak out no matter where I lived. It's... I'm a lot more worried about them meeting a mirror for the first time. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, Anne, could you come in here a minute? I think I just melted the spatula in the tilapia. So... Oh, hey guys. Uh, you, you, are you Anne's, uh, uh, boyfriend? God, it's great to finally meet you guys. Uh, Anne talks about you all the time, you know? I've got some tilapia cooking in the kitchen, uh, and she'll be home shortly, so. Do you guys like Skittles? Oh, it's, it's fine. It's, it doesn't matter. It's not what I expected. You know, your father, everything late. It's not late, what you expected. It's a, it's, a, it's a bed and a bathroom. And, a, you know, you, you sleep and you there go to the bathroom in the hotel. There was a it's smell. Clean. I smelled something. We had it's the carpet stuff. Like they the spray evidence. stuff on the carpet. So, uh, what do you guys, uh, what do you think of the place? Well, uh, it's uh, interesting. What's? What's going on up there, sweetie? What's with that? Um, what is that? Oh, whoa. That's water damage. Water damage. Uh, yeah, and they're going to fix it. sweetheart, yeah, you have oh. to write this down and give yeah. it to your landlord oh. right away. We are, we Don't are. waste time because yeah. they will charge you when you do mm -hmm. move out. Well, honey, you know, she knows so how to document. She's I'm in law school. I'm just telling her that she needs to take a picture. Maybe you should thing. get a proof. camera it's for her. Proof. Get a black and white shot and give it to her. Right, right, right. Just back yourself up. List everything in like an order. She knows. I've got a couple. List, so. Yeah, we made a list. So. Didn't you see that when you saw the apartment? Um, I, I saw it. So. You didn't see this? Amir picked out the apartment. Um, I I saw pictures. You know, it's it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I mean, we're gonna spruce it up, and I mean, it's temporary. right. Well, it's you just... know, when the lease is up in a year, you can get out, and we'll f help you find another place, if not sooner. Uh. Well, yeah, it's a it's a year, for the lease. Right. Um. Plus a couple years, so it's a three-year lease, actually. And I, I told you this, right? Three-year lease? No. It's a three-year lease, because when I saw the place, he gave me a really good deal on the first month. If I extended the lease two years, I told you this. Well, um, you can get out of the lease. Well, Dad, yeah, I don't... It's, it's fine, I don't want to get out of the lease. No, I can, I can get you out of the lease. Dad, it's fine. I don't want to get out of the lease. We're living here, we're happy. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, what do you do, Amos? Amir. You told me Amir. Amos. You told me Amos I, I told, in the car. No, you don't listen. No, my name's Amir. I told um, you, see? Amir. See? I, I work downtown. Oh. I, um, I'm an escalator attendant. Oh. That's not his, you know, main ambition. That's just his job for, for right now. Oh, well, what, what would your ambition be then? What'd you go to school for? Or? You didn't tell him. No, oh, I thought she just told you. <laughs> I'm um, I'm an artist. Oh, we oh. love art. Oh, we love art. art. We collect oh, art. Oh, we yeah, collect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We just bought a, uh, a dolly, Salvador dolly. Um, really? Very tiny, but it's uh, you, it's him. He it signed it. Frame. Yeah. His, the signature is actually. It's his signature. Is a new frame? It's frame. He, he approved the frame. It, it covers the signature, so people don't even know it's he authentic. He approved that frame. It looks cheap. He, oh. People come out embarrassed, you know, when they he see it. He wanted it to look cheap. Out. That's the whole point oh, of it. Wow, well, that's just... That's you know, what juice. you won't be needing frames for is my work, because I'm a sculptor, actually. So. Is that a Zionist thing, sculpting? The no. form of art that you would... Uh, the pool. Mom, I got your email about the retiling the pool. Isn't the it pool? gorgeous? <gasps> yeah, we did, we did all photos. the tiles. It's so beautiful. The water's crystal clear. We have a swimming pool in our backyard. Wow. And um, it's you fantastic. Guys like you swim? guys... I do. He, you know, so you know our pool. daughter will never be a Jew, right? <sighs> you know it's not going to last. I mean, he's not going to be a Jew. The guy's an idiot. How's it going? <laughs> Taking in the new neighborhood? <laughs> yeah. The glorious sights? Yeah. <laughs> Did you just see uh, Frank Frank walk by? No. Do you know Frank Frank? No, he's Frank You don't know, Frank. you haven't seen him yet? No. He's a very colorful, local, colorful man. <laughs> Why yeah. is he uh, called Frank Frank? Frank Frank? Uh, his name is Frank and... He, he talks in a way that's very direct, <laughs> very frank, mostly about fashions. So what are you up to? It's, it's stupid. My, my mom and dad are visiting. And they never met a mirror until tonight. Oh, really? Do you know that copy store around the corner? Yeah. The little mom and pop copy. Yeah. That's where I do my late night copies. They're open right now? Mm-hmm. They're 24 hours. Why? Yeah, it's preposterous. I'm the only Why? person that ever goes in there after midnight. Um, That's so weird. Yeah. I think it's a front for something. It's got to be. It's got to be. But they have really good color printers. <laughs> yeah. Color laser CMYK. Hot. Hot. Hot awesome. cadets. We both have school tomorrow. <laughs> we both have school. Um, it was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Yeah. All right. Have a good night. You just sandwich you if you want. Are you doing a little studying? You know what, I think I'm actually gonna probably do a little studying myself. Um, I'm probably gonna go head over to the sculpture garden, so if you need me, I'll have my cell phone on me and uh, give me a call uh, if you just wanna talk even. Um, and I also did wanna mention that um, last night, honestly, I really tried, so.
What are you all dressed up for? Um, Samantha and I are gonna go out. Yeah? Where are you guys going? Um, to this, like, Spanish tapas restaurant. A tapas restaurant? You know what? I am pretty hungry. Would you mind if I joined you? Um, well, no, but I wouldn't think you'd want to because you hate Samantha. I don't know. It'd be nice to have, like, a night out where I get to know her a little better. You're always talking about, like, doing these, these nights out on the town. Um, Tonight would yeah. be pretty good. Look at, let me change this shirt. Let me get out of this one. These old duds. Uh, do you have another one of those? <laughs> Are you being serious about wanting to go? Yeah, totally. I, I don't know. I think we need to, like, go out more. Um. What kind of place is this? It's a, like, a yuppie kind of place that you would hate kind of place. Kind of like a polo type of place? Um, I think Samantha made reservations is the thing for the two of us. And if there's three, I don't know if they'd be cool with just... Allowing it to change. You know, I'll slide up a chair and squeeze in. You always worry about the small stuff. Um, what do you think about this one? It's fine. Collar <laughs> up or collar down? What do you think? Up or down? Down. Um, come here. Like, it's you look so great. Thank you. But you don't have to go. No, I really insist, actually. Tapas, anyway, tapas. Sounds really. What's a tapas? Who eats a tapas? They better have German Riesling. Holy shit! Brain, is that you? Nice pants. <sighs> Do you want a beer in? What is going on? What do you mean? Who is this guy? It's Brain. Brain? It's like my oldest buddy, Brain. Oh my god. Well, I have to meet Samantha in like 10 minutes. No, no, no. We have to meet Samantha in 10 minutes. Fine, then let's just get him out of here. Uh, we gotta have a beer first. One beer. This is, uh, this is my oldest buddy, Brain, here. Yes. Here you go, sir. Thank you, Eagle. Yes, anytime. So, Brian, why do you keep calling Amir Eagle? High school. High school nickname. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. he used to fly above everyone in the clouds so high and free from smoking so much weed. I had really good vision. Yeah, awesome, awesome vision. Yeah. That's totally news to me, Amir. I had no idea that you smoked so much weed. Oh, no, that was just high school. I better just... clean up these beans, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just... Who didn't deny clean? Yeah. I didn't. I... Who didn't? Um, but yeah, I haven't smoked in a long time, so... No shit? That's too bad, man. I got a nice baggie of some Jamaican brown town over there that we were going to bust into and smoke a couple Doobie Brothers, take a little jam down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't mean to be uncool or anything, but Amir, I do not want drugs in this house. Do we want to put him on the porch? He's kidding, man. He doesn't really have No, it's drugs. totally cool. I know a guy in Koreatown. He wrote me a prescription. Legally, I have type 2 glaucoma, so I'll be fine. Just If there's, you guys see any cops around, just let me know. And I'll start walking into stuff or something. But it's totally cool. You guys aren't in trouble. My dad said I couldn't get any more weed charges anyway or else he cut me off. So. The real question is... What are you doing at back in town, man? What? You just what like, pop in, say hello. What am I doing? What am I, you you already like kicking me out? bag full of weed? You just... I got a new job, is what I've been telling for. A new job with the Bloody Financial Institution. Bloody. Bloody, bloody, we like to body. I'm trying to get that going over there. Nobody's really done it yet. My dad got me a job. I'm like a junior broker agent where I make stocks. I make them and then I, I sell them and then I buy them and then... I make sure the stock market doesn't crash, and that's about it. My dad got this Oriental guy to work with me. He does a lot of my stuff for me. Pretty, Pretty cool. nice gig Brian's got. Yeah. Great gig. Okay. Uh, Ton of sluts. Yeah, what do you... Okay, well, clearly you two have a lot to catch up on, so, Amir, I'm just going to go and meet Samantha by myself. If uh, you know, we were just so... about to head out to, to a tapas bar. Are you, in, are you interested? Uh-uh. In but my... This is weird. I was going to try and warm up to it, but you're leaving. You're jumping up and you're leaving the conversation. I was checking for quads down here under your cushions, and I saw this was a pull-outer. I had a situation where, and that my waterbed exploded and shorted up my kegerator. So I'll be, um, my apartment's kind of, or my condo is a little out of commission for the night. I wonder if I could get my crash on here, if that's cool with you guys. We'll, we'll figure Brent, out. You are my oldest buddy. You don't have to ask. Thank you. Right, Anne? Fine. 
Sure. For you can one, tell, for yeah, one you night. Can stay. You heard her? One you night. Her? One night. One night. And then we can do whatever you guys want. And then we'll figure out the, the rest of what we're going to do. So I'm going to go. Um, Amir, just make sure nothing gets... Better. I'm so sorry. I know we had plans. No, it's good. Um, you guys catch up. Have fun. Um, I'm going to meet Sam. Let's do tomorrow for sure, okay? Sure. Tomorrow night, we're going out. Date night. Nice to meet you, Brain. And I'll see you later, Eagle. Have fun, guys. Have fun, Anne. Don't, don't have too much fun, but... Stop doing that. He's gonna hear you through. I don't care if he fucking hears me, man. I care if you hear me. I'm trying to fucking help you out. We just start digging up some dirt on this guy, or else we're gonna be fucking both be in trouble, man. Yeah, I don't really want to dig any dirt, so. From the sound of things, he's got some skeletons in that fucking closet. And we just start rattling them bones, unless you want Arn walking in here. Her name's Ann. Realizing this is the asshole she settled down with, this fucking loser, in this fucking shitty fucking apartment, all right? Uh, I don't, I don't think I'm settled down, so... Well, fucking, by the looks of things, you fuck. Look at this shit, man. Are you fucking not settled down? Open your fucking eyeballs up and check this shit out. What the fuck is this? What is this fucking veil of deception that you're putting over your own fucking eyes? You can't even see what the fuck's going on. All right? We need more of this shit. We need more Barkley. We can keep the cactuses. Those are sort of tight. Like, th look at me. Look at, look at my life. Look at my attitude. I got a fucking waterbed. I got a kegerator. I got a hot tub, okay? I make $80,000 a year. I got two Xbox 360s. Why do I have two Xbox 360s? Because I don't have some fucking bitch wife, tell, bitch girlfriend, tell me how retarded it is to have two Xbox 360s, man. All right? Yeah. Think about it. I could buy so much marble with $80,000. I don't care about fucking marble right now, man. What the fuck, dude? I'm dude. trying to get your fucking life back. Because I don't know what the fuck happened here, but somebody's got to fucking help you out. How much do you make? Uh, seven fifty. dollars 50 750? American? That's like 500 bucks a year, man. Are you fucking kidding me? That's like minimum loser wage. Like, you gotta be a loser just to fucking make that amount. What, what do you want me to do? I don't know what I want you to do, man. Okay? I'm just trying to get you. We need to get more of this shit and less of this shit. So, however, do the fucking math and figure that shit out. But you know what I'm gonna do for you? Hmm. I'm gonna give you $10,000. Really? A year to work in the mailroom at my company. We'll fucking hang out all the time. We'll party. We're gonna eat so much fucking pizza and get so fucking high all the time. We're gonna figure this out. Fuck Tom. Fuck everything. Is that your first beer? Are you kidding me, dude? This is the problem. You think Tom's on his first beer? Tom's probably got fucking 18 or in him right now, man. Are you serious? So let's get this shit stirred up. Let's get some more fucking Charles Barkley posters up here. Fuck this guy and let's fucking drink these beers, all right? Beer, yeah. Jackala. Hey, Art. So did you have fun tonight? Yeah, we had pretty, pretty good time. We basically just uh, drank a shitload of beers and then Brian piped in some Judas Priest, played a little Wake the Neighbors. Then we ordered some pizzas that never showed up because the place was closed. And then you came home. How about you and Samantha, what'd you guys do? Mm, we just went and had a couple of drinks. Was it fun? Mm, yeah, mm, it was pretty fun. Pretty fun. <laughs> um, 
do you, uh, do you, uh, want to have a little sex, or? No. No? Why not? For starters, there's a man passed out in a bathtub ten feet away from us. Oh, brain? Uh, he's not gonna know. He's totally passed out. That's beside the point. Are you mad about something? You seem a little mad. No. No? Uh, are you sure? I'm not mad, Amir. You're always mad about something. You know, Amir, not all of us can just stay up all night getting wasted with our friends. Some of us have to wake up in the morning and do important things. I'm not wasted. Yeah, you stapled your shoes to the wall. That doesn't mean I'm wasted. And, you know, I also have, like, pretty important things to, to do in the morning, so... Mm, like what? I, uh... I have to wake up at 7 to go to work. Amir, it's like 3 a.m. right now. You have to wake up in four hours. I know, I'm so screwed. Oh, my God. Uh, what are you worried about? It doesn't matter. Just, we have to go to sleep right now. Mm. Uh, you know when you said earlier that you uh, that you weren't mad about anything. Mm hmm. I was gonna say that I was mad about something. You know, I was gonna say that I'm mad about you. You know. You know what I'm talking about Paul Reiser. But, you know, I was thinking, Anne, and, uh, really it's not that bad. There's, there's some definite positive aspects to this because now, and now I can, I can concentrate on my sculpting, so. Concentrate on what? You've never sculpted anything, Amir. Whoa. Watch out for you. What's going on with you today? Amir, you're 23 years old. You have to stop fucking around like this, just loafing around like we're still in college because we're not. Well, look at you, you're not so perfect yourself, so. Look at me, Amir. I'm in law school. Oh, yeah, law school? Yeah, that's a plan. Well, I've got a plan. I've got a plan, so I, Brain tells me he can uh, give me a job at his firm, so I've got a plan. <laughs> Doing what? Working in the mailroom? Uh, well, actually, yeah. Um, but he told me it's a pretty good job, so it's something, I, it's a job to have, it's, and he says it pays about $10,000 a year. $10,000 a year is not very much money, Amir. That is like below the poverty line. 
the heck? What is with you today? You Stop lecturing me. I'm it's, not lecturing you. You kind of are. You sound just like your dad, just like, just like a little bit less racist, you know? You know what, Amir? My dad doesn't have anything against you because you're Jewish. I know that's what you want to believe, but yeah, my dad doesn't like you. And do you know why my dad doesn't like you? Because you're the guy that's with his daughter, and you're an escalator attendant. Oh, I'm sorry. An out-of-work escalator attendant. <laughs> A buddy mailroom clerk. Oh, but you're not any of those things, are you, Amir? Because you're a sculptor. You're an artist. Where's your sculpture, Amir? Where is it? I don't see it. Where is it? No, you know, maybe, uh, you know, who am I getting? You know, I'm not a sculptor. Because I haven't sculpted anything. I'm not a sculptor, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm not uh, cut out to be a sculptor. So no pun intended, you know? Sorry, that isn't what I meant. Oh, you're sorry? Yeah. No, it, I don't know. Oh, come on. Man. What happened is, you know? We used to be so happy before. When was that? I don't know, like before we moved in here, it was different. We were happy and... We need a break. A break? Yeah. No. No, oh, that's ridiculous. We don't need a break. You're just tired and stressed out from moving and all this. We're always... We need to come up with a better way to make it work is what we need. We don't need a break. What do you want me to change? I'll change whatever you want me to change. Come on. What do you want me to change? I'll fix whatever. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's not that... This isn't that difficult. You're making this more difficult than it is, so... I just change a couple things. Do you want me... I'll take down... Listen, I'll, I'm here. There's nothing you can do. Okay? I'm sorry. There's nothing. I don't... You're the one that wanted to move in together so bad, you know? You're the one that wanted to have a more mature relationship when you move in together and you... What are you doing? I'm getting my stuff and I'm getting the hell out of here. Where are you going? I'm gonna go over to Brain's house. So... So Ripley's like, we gotta find the fucking colonists, right? Because they've been here for fucking forever and we don't know where they are. But Burke's like, oh, I don't know where they are. Where are they? They have the fucking tracking devices in them, okay? Pull out the fucking spreadsheet, pull out the fucking blueprints. They're all here, but guess where they are? They're all next to the fucking nuclear reactor. You believe that? I think, you know, I think I'm gonna call So, them. They, they can't use their fucking machine guns anymore. They gotta use just flamethrowers or else they're gonna blow up the whole fucking nuclear reactor. You know, you know what? I think I'm gonna call her. Call who? Anne. Who's Anne? Anne? We're still talking about Anne? Fuck you, dude. This is fucking getting old, dude. It's been like an hour. Yeah, it's been a fucking hour, man. An hour of me listening to you fucking bitch about this and fucking want to slice my brain open. I mean, she left it so open-ended. If somebody told you, you know, we need some time apart. open-ended she is, dude. That bitch is the one that fucking changed you from the eagle who would fl soar above yeah, the clouds. I appreciate brain, but could you not call her a bitch? But listen, once I find my fucking weed, you're gonna fucking forget all about her. It's gonna be awesome. I don't really want to forget about her, though. I want to get her back. We're gonna get back at her, man. I got a whole room full of notebooks in there, right? We're gonna we're gonna get back at her. Don't worry. That doesn't make any sense, man. It's today. Just... I just can you fucking stop whining for like three fucking seconds, man? All right. We're gonna get to the body job. We're gonna get the hot tub fix. We're gonna party all the time, okay? But first, we just gotta find this fucking weed. I saw it like three seconds ago, okay? I was like. When I met Amir, he was different from everybody else. Like, my parents and my friends and teachers and everybody was always like, you gotta do this, 
and you gotta cohere. And you gotta, wait a minute, it's time for this. And Amir was just like, I don't gotta do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right here. And he's small. And I'd be like, come here, are you small? <laughs> I just, that's, sounds like a lot of really good reasons of why I liked him. I just assumed that you guys had really good sex and that's why you guys were together. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have sex for four and a half months. <laughs> That's, that can't, I could not handle that. Seriously, it's really fucked up. I tell Peter that if he doesn't fuck me at least four times a week, then I'm going out and I'm getting myself a piece out somewhere else. You didn't do that? I did too. I'm such a bitch. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> What did you just say? <laughs> I said, I want a romance. That's <laughs> so stupid. That is so stupid. I'm going to tell you why. Because Peter and I have no romance. All we talk about is the wedding. And then we fuck a lot. And that's all that matters. Um, I want to be an adult. But I don't want to be an adult like you. That's <laughs> so mean. I'm <laughs> sorry. That was so mean. <laughs> I love you. <sighs> so basically we have the envelopes on the left, mailer in the middle, and the two inserts. We have goldenrod and salmon. So what you do is just a basic tri-folds. Yep, go ahead and uh, make sure it's, uh, yeah, that's good. And then you do the golden rod and then the salmon. And sometimes we'll have a couple more inserts, green or blue, what have you. Doesn't matter, just make sure they're in here. This. Put them in the envelope. And then uh, you make the stacks right here, we'll get them real high. And then we'll move them back, do this for a couple hours. So. Um, Let's get started. Ginger milk bun. I know what it is. I can read it. I don't want to know what's through my fucking shower. I don't, I don't know. It's what Ann knew, so. You know, Dude, you're ever. cool sleeping here and eating my food and drinking my beers, but this has got to go. This this can't okay. happen. I, I can't have this in yeah. here. I can't be bringing girls in here and having them see in this. Yeah, yeah. When From now on, when I finish out, I'll just I'll put it in my bag. I just don't want to see it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put it, anymore, I'll okay? put it in my bag so then nobody will see it. Is my pizza done yet? Not yet. Okay. Go oh. check on it. Keep an eye on it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Eagle, what is that fucking music? Sorry, um, your pizza's done. Don't so. you dare stop playing that thing. That was fucking beautiful. Offices. Okay. What's uh going to church or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh no, um no, I'm just just taking a break from work. I'm at work. Oh. Yeah. Here. Uh-huh, yep. Oh. Yeah, just I just got set up, uh my friend set me up with a new job over here, so it's working out pretty good. What are you doing? Um, uh, he's got me working, uh, I'm working with stocks, oh. so. What are you doing with stocks? Um, we're just, you know, we, we like, we make sure the stock market's okay. We buy stocks and, um, make sure it doesn't crash. You know? It's a lot of responsibility for a sculptor. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Are you? How are you doing? I'm good. I haven't I'm seen good. you in so long. Come here. Break's over. Gotta head back into the mail room. It's a lot of mail to get out today. <laughs> it's a coworker. I should. I, I should probably get going. I guess. Yeah. Well. Um. A lot of mail. Yeah, they've got me. <laughs> So I get me micromanaging this whole whole place, so. God, it's good to see you though. Yeah. How's I'll, how's Anne doing? She's good. Uh she's good. you know, we should maybe me me and Anne should maybe go get dinner or something sometime. Yeah. You have my number, don't you? No. Okay, well she I don't I gotta get going, but she she does, so. Yeah. You know, maybe uh get it from her and let, let's go out. Even Peter, you know. I'd love to see Peter, you know? Yeah, and maybe you guys can talk about stocks or something. <laughs> sure, yeah. God, it's good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you, too. Yeah. See you later. See you, Samantha. All right, check it up. Match point. All right, here All right, we go. lesson number nine. The defensive square. When I extend my arms and legs out, I become a square, an impenetrable square of defense. And when the square moves, it becomes a wall. A wall that you cannot stop. Okay. Lesson number Let's 10. You can't one. do the wall one on one. You need you need to do three on three to have a triangle. I triangle that that totally surrounds the goal. We should play some like, yeah, we should. We could ask. A mirror, right? What's up, man? Tom, remember me? Uh, I remember, yeah. You do you remember me? Hi, I'm Tom. Hey, I'm Charles. I'm I'm here. Here. Good to meet you. I'm Charles. Hey. Hey, are these students of yours? No, Amir's a neighbor. Oh, a neighbor. Ex-neighbor. Oh, okay. Uh, do you guys? Just walk it, walk over here from. Yeah, we walk. We always walk from the college. We work yeah. together at the college. Yeah, we are we colleagues. We're colleagues. That's <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys want to play some two on two? Yeah. I'm pretty beat. We just what? got here. Play we got here like, we got like ten game. minutes ago. Come on. He just roommates gave me... versus colleagues. Young Penny. bucks versus and, uh, old uh, uh, stallions. Oh, okay. Okay. I yeah. see how it is. Like, well, now, uh, you, now you yeah, got to play. Now you can't say now. I'm gonna get a drink before we start. Let's go. Stretch out first. You okay? Let's go. Let's go. You ever been dunked on before? You ever been dunked on? It's fucking embarrassing. This is a school zone too. I don't know if I can do it here, but I'll probably do it anyway. This one's pretty flat. Yeah, so. but at least, at least it's, I think it's better. Uh, is everything all right? You you know in, are you, uh, did you move in with your buddy? Brian? Yeah. Oh, he's like, yeah, he's like my oldest friend, dude. Just moved back into town, so. So you moved out, you're not, you're not, are you next door still or no? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's our place, so, but, I mean, I've been crashing it. Brian's until, you know, the moving gets... And Anna's still next door. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's busy studying, and it's gonna be good. So, you're over there too, right? Oh yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Nika, take it. All right, yeah, shoot for the ball. Ooh, that's good. Skins. I tore my peck dunking on that dude. Can you man. believe those guys? This is why I didn't want to play them, is that these guys are unbelievable. They're so cocky that Tom is like the Tom? cockiest guy. You're worried about fucking Tom? That guy was like 80 years old, man. That guy's fucking balder than my fucking nuts, man. No, no, Tom's got the, the thick black hair. The other guys, that's Tom? Oh yeah. shit, dude, we might be in trouble. Listen, let's not worry about how unattractive you are and how much Tom looks like Eddie Van Halen. Let's worry about how fucking chonked we're gonna get tonight when my buddy Jose brings over his gravity bunk. I can't go back to that place anymore. I can't go back to the court. Tom took the court because every time I go not back there, worry about Tom. he's just gonna be wanting to play games. I've got it all taken care of. Some tea? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love some. Okay. Nice. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. it smells good. What kind of tea is this? It's just English breakfast. Oh, just a little English breakfast. <laughs> That's really good. So listen, I'm really sorry to make it to the wine class the other night. I feel terrible about it. Oh, it's, it's no big deal. Yeah, well, I, you know, I told you about it. I said I'd be there, and I wasn't there, and I don't want you to think about it. I, all these papers stacked up right before, like, that morning. I, all these papers that I avoided. For some reason, I had a really bad batch of papers, and I didn't, wasn't in the mood to grade them for a few days, and then they stacked up, and I couldn't get wasted that many. No, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's, I, I didn't make it either, so... Did you really? Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, good, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess I feel somewhat better about it. Why don't you... What's your excuse? Um, I wasn't grading papers. <laughs> I, uh, Sam, Samantha and I went out to dinner before. Right, tapas. Yes, right. yes. And um, I drank like three glasses of the sangria. That's exactly so, what I warned you I against. I know, I know. That's exactly what I told you about. Yeah. So you're too wasted to get wasted. Mm -hmm. It's pellet and stuff. Huh? Sure. The packs a punch. <laughs> yeah. It's a That's, punch. That's the old drunkard's dilemma. Too wasted to get wasted. Too wasted to get wasted. <laughs> yeah. Mm. How is law school? Mm, it's... <laughs> I just saw this look of <laughs> sadness and gloom <laughs> come over you. It's, it'll be fine. I'm, I don't know. It's, it's, um, I don't know. It's, I always managed to get really good grades in college. Are you bragging right now? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Um, it's just, it's a lot more tedious than I thought. Are you, make, are you making friends there? No. No. You sound <laughs> so sad. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I, it's never been this hard for me to connect with people, but it's been hard for me to connect with people. Yeah. So, listen, I, I feel suddenly compulsed to tell you. <laughs> I, uh... The reason I didn't go to the wine class the other night is not because I had papers to oh, grade. I don't know. I felt like, um, I don't know. I felt like something might, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I felt like if I, if, if I had a few drinks in me and you were there, then something might, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I just felt like it, it might have been problem. I did go. Did you really go? Yeah. Did you? Did you go with Samantha? So I feel lousy again. No, I... I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> I went because I, I wanted to see you. Milk. should have milk. I'm Does it go better with milk? Yes. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go. You're gonna go for milk and the tea right yes. now? Yes. 
That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. All right. Tuesdays, uh, Yag Bomb Wednesdays. A lot of guys are there, but I mean, seriously, no one knows about this place. They have happy hour till like seven, eight o'clock at night. It's a gay bar, Tim. Did you cake? You made this cake. Yeah. And you made Sarah's tacos. And you made made couscous a week before that. Yeah. I make people food a lot. I make it and then mm -hmm. bring it in. Yeah, we we get it, Brian. You're eating people's food out of the fridge. Um, for instance, Mary, who makes tacos every Thursday, I and know. they make I mean, disappear. Know. Tim, why are you complaining about your missing food when I made you a fucking giant cake? Because you didn't bake this cake. I make this cake for you, just eat it. No. I made it for you, just eat the cake. I wouldn't eat cake for lunch anywhere. It's someone's cake and they're probably celebrating It's something. your cake and I made it for you and you're not eating it. I'm not hungry for anything. Just put it, like, look, he made you the cake, just eat the cake. Fucking eat the cake, all right? Yeah, eat the cake, all right? Eat the cake. It's better to put the cake to eat it. I was just wondering if, um, if maybe you'd want to, um, meet up or, or come over to the place sometime so we could just, yeah, yeah, talk. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that, that's, that's totally fine for me. Okay, okay, cool, no, <laughs> we'll have fun. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, uh -huh. uh, do you have a minute? My name's Amir. Uh huh. Uh, I'm a sculptor. I've got some sketches here. Do you have a minute? Yeah. I want to show you some. Uh, it's not a great time for me. It's, sure. Um, yeah. But uh. <laughs> wow. Um. Here I have. 
uh, a couple sketches in there that all have to, they're all the same project in there. Kind of working towards starting. Um, right. And these, it's all the same. It's a series four kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Is this, uh, it's Charles Barkley. Yeah. Do you want to do like a full action thing or like a bust or what are you thinking? Yeah, this is uh, basically kind of like a Roman, uh, like a play on classical. Charles as a deity type of sure. Greek. Interesting. Um, it, you think? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm surprised because I don't know. There's something about this one that I like. I don't know if. I think this would be a little more ambitious, but I mean, there's something about sure. focusing on this that might, I don't know. It me, caught actually, me a little off guard, but, uh, you know. This is, you like, you think it's something that, that could probably come through you guys and, and get made? Well, I mean, we have a pretty, uh, you know, it's a pretty competitive and rigorous program, as you may know. We have a fairly detailed application. I don't think we have any yeah. of um, I don't. I think uh, Sheila has some of the forms. I don't know if you saw her. That's great to hear. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, so you liked them? It's not a bad idea at all. Really? No, I'm not just saying that. I see a lot of this stuff. Wow. <laughs> Good luck. You, you remember you, the part about the two minutes? Remember that? Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much, Mr. Wall. Put on hot water for tea if if you want some tea. Planning to stay that long, so I don't know why. I don't know why I asked for a cup of tea. <laughs> Okay. 
your piece. <laughs> Good to see you. Talk to you soon.